See, man, I have a big problem with this, and I'm gonna go on a little rant about it, bro, quite honestly. And, uh, as always, the LeBron, LeBron groupies are, 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 you know, gonna be upset about it, gonna make excuses about it, but Kendrick Perkins, my G, a lot of things you say, I agree with. But when it comes to this whole LeBron James thing, it's like, bro, you do everything in your power to defend this man. You do everything in your power. Literally, you will trash this whole man's team. You will trash the whole team if you have to, to defend LeBron James, man. And recently, I've had, I got a little issue with Kendrick Perkins, you know, turning around and saying, the Lakers are basically garbage, bro. The Lakers are trash. The Lakers are basura. You're um, literally trashing the whole team, in my opinion, honestly, to defend LeBron James because Lakers are have been sitting at the 10th seed, the 9th seed. Now they're at the 9th seed. You know, they've been floating around the whole, you know, playing thing, which I completely dislike and hate, bro. You know, giving teams a chance that's in the 9th seed and the 10th seed to knock out teams that played the whole year to make it to the playoffs. But that's a whole different conversation. Kendrick Perkins, you want to talk about this whole team being trash, and you're only doing this to defend the bad year Lakers are having with LeBron James being the leader of this team. Back in the days, you know, when Kobe had bad seasons with the Lakers, Kobe Bryant was getting torched. If you guys remember, Kobe Bryant was getting torched. It almost blows my mind how these guys try to hold LeBron James to different standards to try to defend their king and their god. I mean, this is the same Laker team that made it to the Western Conference Finals last year, got swept by the Nuggets, but every single one of those games was winnable by the Lakers. So last year when they were making their run in the playoffs, you know, it was all good. It was all it was all lovely and wonderful. This year, they're struggling. Instead of putting some blame on the guy that's supposed to be the leader of the damn team, you're going to turn around and call all these players trash that are NBA players. Kendrick Perkins, my bro. You know, last I checked, Lakers' biggest wins, honestly, in my opinion, this year was against the Boston Celtics on the road, which LeBron James didn't play. And two times against the Milwaukee Bucks, which the last game went to over, double overtime in Milwaukee, and they won again without LeBron James. To me, the three biggest wins the Lakers have this year was without LeBron James. All right. You know, every time I see LeBron James actually not playing, I feel like the guys are having more fun. I feel like everybody is getting their touches. I feel like the game has more rhythm. The game has more flow. And like I said, the players just look like they're enjoying themselves more, bro. This last game against the Bucks, the the you know, they were playing through Anthony Davis. You know, every a lot of the plays was going through Anthony Davis. The guy had a monster game, bro. He didn't have the best shooting game percentage-wise, but he had a monster game. This dude put up like I think 30 some points, grabbed 20 some rebounds. You know, it was a double overtime game, but he straight balled out. D'Angelo Russell, the guy that LeBron James was desperately trying to trade. Desperately. This dude was sitting on the bench crying, bro. If you remember, I forget who they were playing, thinking he's going to get traded. D'Angelo Russell's been balling, bro. Balling. You know, with LeBron James not playing, he had a stupid game, bro. Stupid game. Austin, Austin Reeves. This man had a triple-double, bro. Triple-double. With LeBron James not playing. Ryu Hachimura, you know, got his points in. He, he, he uh, scored about, I think he scored like 16 points in that game against the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, whether you guys want to admit it or not, these guys are not trash players, man. Austin Reeves, you know, con the whole team trash. I don't think um, D'Angelo Russell's trash. I don't think Austin Reeves is trash. I don't think Ryu is trash. I don't think Anthony Davis is trash, especially when the offense is going through Anthony Davis, man. I think when LeBron James is playing, this dude, you know, hogs up the ball too much. He's trying to get his points, trying to get his stats. And a lot of the times, 
to be honest with you, the offense has been looking stagnant, bro. It's been looking stagnant. And I'm not trying to make this video, honestly, dissing LeBron, man. You know, LeBron is a great player, man. I just don't think he's Michael Jordan, and I just don't think he's Kobe Bryant. And I just think the media just defends LeBron James so much where it's almost, not almost, it is disgusting for guys like Kendrick Perkins to turn around to defend God, their God, their chosen one, to trash a whole team, calling them trash. This goes back to the thing with, with, you know, LeBron James always needing help. You know, it's LeBron James. And it's never LeBron James's fault. When everything is great, you know, we praise LeBron. When everything is bad, we got to trash the whole team, man. I, I swear, bro, I'm just getting sick and tired of it. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing the same stuff day in and day out for God knows how many years already, bro. It's just pathetic at this point. And I'm glad a lot of people that have much bigger channels than me. We're going to continue growing, by the way. You know, the grind never stops. The hustle never stops. People that have bigger channels than me, you know, like Ticket TV, Dreamers Pro, Too Raw for Sports, all these channels, they speak out against this because they're fed up with it, bro. You, you know, it's almost like they're speaking for the people because a lot of people, honestly, are thinking what these dudes are saying when they push back with this whole LeBron narrative, man. It's sick and it's disgusting at this point, Kendrick Perkins. And I got to completely disagree with you. And it's okay to put some blame on your chosen one. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, man. It's my little rant, bro. And I'm quite honestly getting sick and tired of it. We out of here.